I mean, if I would have went and had a conversation with 2012 Ricky and said, you know, listen, it's 2019, right? We're going into the 2019, 2020 season. Here's your roster. Dwight Howard's on the Lakers. All right. Bet. I'm cool. That means we traded for him and, you know, he played out his career and now he's finally in the twilight after a one or two Kobe championships and probably just one, right? I, I want to be realistic, you know, and yeah, everything is good. Like, that's cool. We went through probably a, a little bit of a drought, but the Lakers bided their time and Dwight stayed patient. And he was a team player and now he's still on the Lakers going into his age 34 season. All right, that makes sense to me, all right? Then someone tells me LeBron's on the team too. I'm like, you goddamn right he is. You motherfucking right, LeBron on the team, man. Of course he is, because we the Lakers. That's how we get down. We go go and bring the best player in the league. So you telling me, (laughs) you telling me we went from Kobe to White championships, and now we're working on LeBron and Dwight finishing out their careers together and going after some championship. All right, that's what I'm talking about. And then you go and you tell me, and you already know, Ricky, you were a senior in high school when this little homie was hooping at his school, you know, <laughs> in Chicago. You already know about Anthony Davis and how he's going to be a beast. AD was drafted that year that the Lakers traded for Dwight Howard. I knew all about him, as did you, Danny, us being from the Chicago area. And I would have been like, you know what? Drop the fucking mic. 